Jive 5 Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, this is part two of Boys and the Hood. Another dad joke there. Um, yesterday, what you saw us do is we sanded, taped off, prepped the hood, primered it, didn't paint it. It was hot, it was humid, it was just taking forever to cure. So it's the next day, and what we're going to do is actually. Before I got here, Micah was working on doing some sanding, a little bit more priming, a little bit more of that work. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish that up and get it as smooth as we can. Like I said, we're not experts. This is a drag car. We're not going for some high quality uh, show car finish. But you know what? We do the best with what we have, and that's good enough for me. I think it's going to look great. I've seen some of the work Micah's painted before. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get doing that, and we're going to have a good time. It's actually nice out today. So our plan is tonight is get this painted, get the hood installed, probably start on those hood pins. It's getting close to crunch time, guys. All the little things add up. Is this a necessity for it? Nope. Is it something I really wanted? Yep. So making time for it. So with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rumbling on this. See you soon. What we got going on uh, we got the, the hood sanded it's all prepped we got things taped off uh, went ahead and cleaned it uh, Micah is actually doing a final cleaning right now of that paint prep cleaner we sanded it down to I believe 600 grit um, it's pretty smooth so the next step is is the paint I uh, normally shop with Jags but what I needed some had had it it is their hot rod flat single stage acrylic urethane paint um, this is actually satin. You have to get their activator with it. It's a uh, medium temperature, which right now today is that. I think it's like 80 degrees. Today's about 78, so it's about perfect. Um, it's four parts paint, one part urethane. Mix them all together. Mike is going to use his Matco tools, high volume, low pressure spray gun, and we'll end up doing two medium wet coats with this. Like I said, we're doing the best with what we can. It's a drag car. It's not some show quality hot rod. I wear new balance tennis shoes and go to car shows and sit in my khaki pants and talk about golf. This car is gonna be a runner. It's gonna be fun, but it's also gonna look good. Uh, so yeah, with that, we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna mix this paint up. We're gonna get everything painted, let it dry. I'm not gonna put you guys through the proverbial paint drying video, but once this thing's ready to go, and put on um, we're going to go ahead and install the hood probably drill the hood for the pins get that all done a um, couple things real quick after we do this really what i'm waiting on is my power steering hoses delayed um, a c6 speedometer plug to come in and we'll just do a once over with the car then it's heading back to my place before i head on vacation and it's going to uh, get wired up ready to make some noise so I know I'm rambling right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to get everything taken care of, ready to go, and we're going to paint the hood and the trunk lid. See you in a few.
Well, there you have it. Got the urethane on there, a couple coats. Um, it fish eyed a little bit, nothing bad. It actually laid down nice. Micah did a great job using that 3M tape, really helped out make crisp lines. Got the hood on there, need to do some final adjustments. Got the pins drilled in there. That's always fun drilling hoods or holes and stuff like this. John came out, did some glamour shots. He's got a cool slider thing that we're gonna work with, incorporating some videos down the road. But there you have it. Um, looks pretty good. Really dresses the car out nicely. Um, one thing I did find out, eh, the clearance of the back of the hood doesn't really work too well with the back uh, velocity stack, but I'll fix that. Um, yeah, overall, pretty happy about it. Not too bad. Looks great. Really goes with the theme of this car. Let it dry up. Put the duck back on. And uh, I got a 521 decal for the front. But yeah, it looks great. So pretty much all we're doing now is waiting on power steering hoses. We'll put the master cylinder back in, bleed the brakes, do a quick once over, install the C6 speedometer plug. Then it goes back to my house for wiring. But before that, I'm going to be on vacation. And kind of with the theme of this car, if you really don't like the way we did this, honestly, I don't give a duck. See you guys tomorrow.